Today's Surf CE job is we're going to go out and start a new job in the field, but we want to align our local coordinate system in the field with the east line of the section that we're surveying. We also want to use a GPS computed combined scale factor so that our coordinates are already at ground. Let's get started. Here's a picture of section 17. You'll see there's a southeast corner and a northeast corner. The record distance is 80 chains and the record bearing is north 1 degree 45 minutes west. So I've got a plan on how to accomplish this and we'll just go through it one step at a time. First we're going to set up an autonomous base so we're not going to know where the base is we're just going to read the GPS. It's going to start broadcasting corrections and then we'll attach to the rover and we'll verify that we have a fix on the rover. I've already done that. Our next step is we're going to occupy and store the two controlling points, the southeast corner of the section and the northeast corner. I'm already standing at the southeast corner of the section. So let's go to survey and then store points. We'll enter southeast and we'll store that as point number one. I'm going to quickly traverse up to the northeast corner. We'll enter northeast and store the northeast corner. The next thing we want to do is hand enter the southeast local coordinate. We can do that by going to File, then Points, clicking on Add. Let's make it 10,000. 10,000. And we'll call this the southeast corner local. Next I need to add the local coordinates for the northeast corner. I can do that by going to Kogo and then manual traverse. I'm going to occupy point number three. I'm going to make a new point, point number four. I'm going to call that the northeast corner L for local. The bearing is one degree, four to five minutes west and the distance is 5280. I'll calculate a local coordinate for that and click store. Now just to make sure, if I inverse between points 3 and 4, you'll see I'm 5280 and my bearing truly is 145. Next, let's set a combined scale factor based on the average combined scale factor for the southeast and northeast coordinates. I can do that under Equipment, Localization, and then on the GPS tab. While we're here, make sure there's an appropriate geoid file loaded. Continental US covers the entire United States, so I'm good to go. I'm going to go to Use Grid to Ground, and then I'm going to use the Advanced Calculator button. And I'm going to select Average Points. Click the Sigma over N button, and I want to average points 1 and 2. I'll click the Average button. Surf CE will calculate a combined scale factor for both of those points and then calcu calculate an average combined scale factor. Click on the red X. This scale factor looks appropriate for the area that we're working in, but I need to set the scale point as the southeast local coordinates. This is very important. So I'm going to change the method to advanced mode, which keeps my combined scale factor. But then I'm going to click the button and set a new scale point. The grid coordinates are going to be 10,000, 10,000. So I've got the scale factor. That's the average scale factor for points 1 and 2. But I'm applying it at the 1,000 or 10,000, 10,000 uh, local coordinate for the southeast corner. Click on green check mark. We want to go all the way back to the main menu so that this scale factor gets registered. Now we're going to go back to localization and go to the points tab. We'll click on add. Now it wants the local coordinates for the southeast corner. Remember that's point number three. Next, it needs to know the GPS coordinates 
of point number three. Well, we read those with point number one. Let's add another point, and that's the northeast corner. The local coordinates are point number four. And again, we need the GPS coordinates from it. They're in the raw file as point number two. So CE asks us, do we want to set the project scale to one? Well, no, we went to a lot of work to compute that combined scale factor. So we do not want to set the scale to one. Now remember, that's the scale over on the GPS tab, not necessarily the scale on the points tab. You have to check this two-point rotate only checkbox. If you uncheck this box, SurfCE will scale our local coordinate system to match the record distance, and we're 20 feet short of that, so that would be a mistake also. Now I've added my two affine points, point number three and point number four. I need to turn off the vertical on this. You do that by selecting a line, clicking on and off, unchecking vertical control, and then we'll uncheck vertical control on the second point also. Great. Remember the two-point rotate only checkbox needs to be checked so that we don't introduce a scale factor based on the record distance, which is 20 feet short. We'll click on the green check mark. SurfCE suggests that we reprocess our raw file. This is an excellent idea. We'll click yes again. Make sure the scale factor is the inverse of the combined scale factor. Everything else looks great. Click on the green check mark. And you'll notice that point number one has now moved to 10,000, 10,000. Let's go all the way back to the main menu. And we'll go to inverse. Let's inverse between point number one and point number two. So our ground distance is now 5270, and our bearing is one degree 45 minutes. We can slide over here and you'll see the grid distance is still 5268.97. So we've accomplished our goal. We're now working, any additional points that we shoot, we're working at the ground. All of our distances will match a total station. And our basis of bearing exactly matches the record bearing from the original plaque.